those cameras, they, because they're so beefy, you can tuck them. It feels like a, a gun, on, like you're like tucked and you're right here and then yeah. you just kind of like float every time you film and then move around like that. Um, that's why shooting on the, that's why caging up the little tiny cameras helps because you add weight and, and stuff like that. Big Rich giving me some game. That. On how to shoot, you know, I'm not a natural shooter. I'm okay. a little bit better on the edit, but I guess uh, yeah, you got to get your reps in, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it, it comes from from practice. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't up on it until I had some gurus teach me. So but passing on the knowledge, passing on the knowledge. Appreciate it. <laughs> Mo, good. the early start. Got to. What up? What up? What up? Let's get in American came in, Chelsea said we got American money so long. Y'all thought it's it was a, the Roman it's era? It's American money longer than Russian money. So we should <laughs> You say you think the Qataris got money? Yeah. <laughs> Americans. So Mo, you think this financial fair play thing is gonna play play out for y'all? Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah, you're spending too much money. You ain't caught, too. You ain't caught with what? You think <laughs> Man City's not getting caught? Man City getting caught. Man City. With what? They're not going to get relegated. They're going to get, get a slap fine. on the wrist. They're getting fine. They're getting fine. They're not, yeah. Nah. Liverpool going to be champions last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going to rescind we'll everything. I said, the Qatari will take all their money and invest it into a new league if they do that. <laughs> EPL. Y'all like the top spot? Y'all better keep this shit how it is. Oh, man. Arsenal. See, Arsenal at the top means we barely spent money. Barely. All right, just finished up breakfast. About to head over to the stadium. or well, actually, the team store for the uh, kid unveiling. And then do a couple more things. But probably head back after the kid unveiling and get the rest of the gear. Um, so, yeah, roll with us. What do you think of the new kit? It's nice. It's good. I think they did a good job incorporating like the city, like history and all the mission and values that they wanted. And it's a good contrast between home and away, like they said. And then actually hearing like their explanation of it, because I'm not from St. Louis, so the explanation was really cool. Yeah. No, we have no, you know, back of house at all yeah. in the stadium, and that was by design so okay. that like there was no part of the city that was blocked off from the stadium. Okay. So that so everything like this guy here, everything has to go under for all of our service deliveries, okay. broadcast trucks, everything. So it's really like a that's so, campus. That's so sick. So you know. Will players park under there? Um, I don't know exactly. We have yeah. some. We have this. Has some spots here on game day. Yeah. Ownership has parked down there before. Ownership has parked yeah. down there. Yeah. So I I'm sure the game. Thankfully, day, parking yeah. is not what I have yeah. to do. Yeah. So. Because for all those uh, those player arrival tunnel shots. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a walk down. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so what's up? 
Uh, no, we here for media. We did like uh, some stuff with St. Louis. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah. Valley. Then we did the stadium tour, and then we got to do a hop in. See if I see if you still got it. I definitely still got it, but I'm not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know. Like it's yeah, he's high intensity, right? Yeah, it's all out, dude. Yeah, like no jokes, it's no rest. So okay. make sure you get a proper warm up in first and foremost. No, for real, proper warm up because <laughs> it's gonna be intense. Awesome. Yeah, I gotta tell Kobe. Me and Kobe just talking about you. So you dude, I talk to Kobe all the time, yeah. man. That's crazy. So no more. Fire! Fire! All right, so we're up here hanging out at the training center. Um, getting a little quick tour. Moby, some of Moby's old coaches work here, so probably capture that. Um, also, we'll be back to do a player interview in a little bit, but just wanted to kind of pull up, get a quick look, and yeah, super nice. Looking forward to seeing more of it. My name is Sean Reynolds. Uh, I'm an assistant coach for the under 21s here at St. Louis City SC. Originally from Florida, played uh, professionally for eight eight years. Uh, been a great journey. Uh, I'm excited to start this journey in my coaching career. Recent, uh, just started my B license, so hopefully I can learn what I can from here and move on, teach it to other kids. So, uh, that's that's good. It's definitely fun <laughs> to like. Most kids, good, they don't expect. Like, they don't expect the like because for the most of the time they're white coaches, mm -hmm. so they have a black coach. It's a little bit different. The way, the way that I talk, versus the way I talk, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's 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 real. That's I love. That's like an authentic experience and, and recap of it. You know? When like. I think one of my favorite things is the fact that how much like hip hop and black culture is now a part of like all sports. You even look over like in England, mm -hmm. like and you know it's like everything is about hip hop and black hip -hop, like almost investing. It's not just football and basketball. Mm -hmm. It's like all my kids, all they do is listen to yeah. trap music. <laughs> now it's terrible. They don't like. Yeah, the lyrics, the that's, lyrics another, that's another conversation. Yeah. <laughs> the lyrics is black, but, yeah. you know, it's like, I can at least a appeal to that in some nature or form. Mm. Where, like, I would say 10 years ago, it wasn't as accepted. Nah. So, seeing it, seeing it grow in, like, that space, that's been dope for me. No, so they just moved us over here. We want all this. The main, I don't know if you saw the main one that's like open that you yeah. see through. That's where all of the academy cat staff used to be. But they just moved us over here. Head coaches are on this side, and then assistants and goalkeepers. Are Say it again, please. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm not saying that again. But we're over on this side. Um, well, so what's the philosophy? What's the St. Louis philosophy? Are you high, kidding me? Yeah, high press, high intensity. People first. People first. This guy's a politician, man. Yeah, man. What? He's trained, man. He's trained. Trained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like, yo, it's like every every academy just like has a residency now, basically. Um, for the most part, so this one's brand new. Like we, so we only have like St. Louis kids. Okay. Uh, most of them now they got kids from out state. Yeah. Remember, like this is like. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 now the four locker rooms here, 15 on this side, 17, 16 in the back, and then we're supposed to have a 14 program as well uh -huh. coming in, but that's just basically we let like the away teams use that one now. Okay. When y'all, um, so y'all got like partnerships with the local clubs, like Scott Gallagher, for like youth 12 and all that? We have conversations with yeah. the local clubs. I don't want to say partnerships too much. That's a loose term. Yeah. But all of them have a similar setup. In some of the other locker rooms, though, they have like a big like center thing for the laundry. In this one, they didn't do it that way. But, Not, you know, but the mean, media video. I mean, you also made the young kids do their laundry, man. They still got to get some prints. No, I know. Well, here's the thing. One team has already been dreading with having to do their own laundry because okay. they haven't been following the rules. But my guys are pretty good about it. Yeah. For now. For now. For now. Oh, man, I would have. Uh, yeah. Laundry would have. Outlets that in the point. locker room and you 14? Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. I sound like one of them old 
role players, man. I can't tell you. Like, Yo, you, you I like that. I like when that. I was Dude, in the league. Punishment. When I was in the league. <laughs> I, <don't mean> <laughs> yeah. I guess. What's the only thing? <coughs> They're responsible for making it smell decent in here. Yeah. Not smelling good, but smelling decent. This is this is definitely described as a decent. Yeah, it's not good. You can't use good. Yeah, <laughs> it goes in waves though. Like whenever they restock, like the smell good stuff, yeah. then you notice it. But then after a while, it kind of goes away. And yeah, mm. the academy teams they get boots. Yeah, so they literally just mm-hmm. got their boots last week. They get a choice of boots, or it's like kind yeah, of just like yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. but they all have right now. Choice. They don't have like the same colorway because I think it's like a black and like pink yeah. setup right okay. now. Okay. Okay. But yeah, there's a few of them. But they can go X, Predator, mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. Whatever their vibe is. Yep. True. Yeah, take, take, like, hey, it's not permanent. That's, that that's oh, your name can go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's yeah, coming yeah, go, yeah, baby. Yeah, you gotta work. Yeah, yeah, they can go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but True. what we usually do in here, so <clears throat> depending upon the coaches, but what I like to do before every practice, I'll come in and I'll kind of brief them on the actual session that we're doing. Um, sometimes I like to change it up and I'll come in and we'll play like uh, a game on the board just to kind of get their mind off of soccer. Cause, yeah, uh, we have a specific video guide for the academy. Every Tuesday and every Thursday we'll come in and we have a specific topic, whether it's for, pertaining to attacking or defending. Then he'll throw some clips either from the first team or some clips from one of our games that either were glowing in or we need to grow in. Mm-hmm. Oh, glowing grows. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. That's stuff you learn about. These it. academy guys, um, how often are they here? Four days out of the week, and that's just for training. Okay. And then on the weekends, we'll, we're going to be starting up. So this weekend, we only have one game, but uh, we usually have double fixtures each mm-hmm. weekend from here. Okay. They've dedicated to play here. They're not playing school or... So it's a unique setup with a few of my mm-hmm. players, and it's only just with my team because they're new to the academy scene. Mm-hmm. But I got a few that play. I got one that plays hockey, oh, and then I got okay. a few that play baseball. Okay, gotcha. yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And that's been an adjustment. Yeah, but yeah. As far as soccer, this is the only team that they play. This is like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, true, true. Is that person a goalkeeper for baseball? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And then we that's have like the most common. I like in college. My, I remember back in college, my goalkeeper, he went to MLB, he got drafted. Oh, we just got spring conditioning staff. But this has just been sitting here. And it's going to be dedicated to the academy, so they haven't actually set up any type of routine. But they're all working in collaboration right now with the guy at the top, the first team, to try and get some type of programmer for each of the academy teams. But they should be doing this at least twice a week from here on out. Uh, probably starting in like three weeks or so. Yeah. But Cash, talk about that. How you know, like it's minimal weights because it's young kids. That's important. Right? Talk about the, idea, the idea kind of was like just to have them do most of the resistance stuff. Yeah. So like cardio, uh, resistant fitness stuff. That way they can keep their fitness level high and stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. And still let their body adjust exactly. and grow. Exactly. That's important. You got these kids, nine years old, doing like, yeah, yeah. What, are you, what are you doing with this? Well, it's like the American football way, right? Like, get in the gym. Like, get in the gym. Weights, bench press, squats. Yeah. You know, like, control your body. Learn how to control your body <laughs> first, you know? Yeah. yeah. Older guys have a little bit of better stuff. Yeah. It's every time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> They also got a bigger speaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, with that we should. <laughs> first Wait, team. But then it connects. Oh, first team. Oh, first team. Like Romano said. Yeah. Can you go in there? Yeah. Yeah. And another, like. Yeah. Out onto the training pitch. So it's a great view. They don't let any of the academy use the grass fields right now. Mm. With the turf out there, have they told you anything about the turf? That's what they use for the games. Mm. So we'll use that for training and games, but I had never seen a turf field like that. It's wood chips and it feels nothing like any other turf that you've So it's good. Oh yeah. yeah. So you don't get like 
the biting. Yeah. And you don't get your legs spun up when you slide that. Yeah. And then over time, like it doesn't absorb any of the temperature, so it stays wow. cool. Yeah. Man. Technology it's crazy. See all the dome has and fields now where they are like blind proof for? Yeah. So they already have like their zones and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, their zones. So you know the in the Premier League at least, or in Europe, because I remember at, we interviewed the groundskeeper at PSG. Yeah. The actual the pattern of the field and the grass is for these are zones. Yeah. So like the, at that time Di Maria was there, they're like the midfielder is not passing to Di Maria. He's passing to the zone. He's passing to that square. Yeah. So and Di Maria knows yeah. that's where he needs to be. Exactly. That's and crazy. So, that's crazy. so it's actually a home that's field crazy. advantage because yeah. their patterns. Yeah. And, specific and it's to, specific to uh, PSG. That's crazy. And that's then, what I wanted to yeah. do a series. And he that. spent time with people. was like, yeah, do this. Because MLS has like a groundskeeper sponsor. You're like, yeah. I like the groundskeepers and like yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. guy man his detail about the grounds it was crazy and he's like no I can't change this pattern the players know this pattern yeah, at home yeah. or, or like or like when they let it grow thing. like if they're yeah. playing Barca they let it grow yeah 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 you uh, showing us around of course thanks for having me here no so real quick where are you from because Cash where's that nickname yeah I'm from I'm from Kingston Jamaica okay yeah so I came here. It's about six years now to play college soccer at SIUE, just across the river. Uh -huh. So I've been here ever since, and then I came across the river to play, sorry, to, to work here with the team. All right. So that is a wrap on St. Louis. Had an amazing time. They're doing something truly special here. I can't wait for everybody to see exactly what this team does. I think they're going to hit the MLS by storm for sure. Um, thank you to everybody that helped us. Courtney, Jenna, Kendall, Ken, Caleb. Uh, Kristen, everybody that we came in contact with. Uh, we had an amazing time. Um, we look forward to doing more with the team and look forward to showing you guys some of the stuff that we shot. So in the meantime, as always, like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell for your boy. We really appreciate it. Um, until next time, peace.